4000 for Mac, I think it was. Um, I have everything in the description below that you need to download for this process to work. Um, yeah, so also if you want Windows 7 as well as this, you're gonna have to make a partition. Uh, please look through my channel. I have another, like, I have a video on how to partition a hard drive in Windows 7 so you can um, have a dual boot. Uh, Alright, so when you download the 2.6 iBoot, we we're going to do is burn it onto a CD. Uh, I already done it there, and then what you're going to do is go on. Well, actually restart your PC. It's the same process with Windows 7, so just follow this, and just keep pressing F2 or F8 or F12, whatever your computer boots into the um, utility or the BIOS. <laughs> And then you're gonna go on to boot, and you're gonna make the DVD drive first priority. And with Windows 7, you can actually leave the hard drive as um, second boot option, but I'm gonna disable it. It's because I already have Mac installed, and it boots into the the other partition that I made. So, what you're going to do is now is press exit and save changes. Alright, so this menu should pop up. What you're going to do is uh, take, out, take out the iBoot disk and put in the retail installation disk of Snow Leopard. Alright, so when the boot starts, well actually when the DVD gets read by the DVD drive or the PC, um, what you're now going to do is press F5, just keep pressing F5, and the Mac OS X install DVD should pop up. Alright, so what you're now going to do is, while you're on that um, Mac OS X install DVD, you're going to press hyphen V, space, Capital P, lowercase c, I, capital R, lowercase double O, T, equals 1. And then you know, you're just going to press enter. And all this text should just run through the screen, and yeah, it shouldn't take too long, just let it run, and yeah.
Alright, so um, this screen should pop up and you're just going to choose the first one or whether, whatever language you want to choose. <laughs> press continue and press agree. Okay, so if you're doing this with Windows 7 and you made the partition, um, no drives are going to show up on your actual, on this screen right here. The reason I have it is because I already have Mac OS X as my only operating system. So you're just going to click onto utilities, go into this utility, and the partition you made, you're going to choose like the partition you made. I'm going to use Mac OS X 2. That's the partition I made, and you're just going to go on to Erase, and keep it on Mac OS X Extended Journal. Uh, yeah, so you can just change it from there and click the first one, and name it whatever you want, and just press Erase. Press Erase again, and it should format the drive. Okay, now it's formatted, so you're just going to press exit, and you're going to click on the partition that you made, you should only have one there if you're using Windows 7, and press install. Okay, well, so this installation part does take a little while, so I'm just going to turn off the recording and I'll be back when it's just about time to going to the next process. Alright, so um, the installation is complete now. What you're now going to do is just press restart. Alright, so it's saying select the proper bootable disk. So what now we're going to do is um, Put the put the actual Snow Leopard installation disk back in. Oops, sorry. I meant put the iBoot disk in. Yeah, so just put the iBoot disk back in. Um, sorry, my mistake. We already have the installation disk in. We don't really need that anymore. So yeah, when you have the iBoot disk in, you're just going to press any key on your keyboard. And it should go back into the iBoot menu. Alright, so you're gonna go into the partition you made or the one that you the partition you installed Snow Leopard onto and now what you're gonna do is press hyphen V space hyphen X space capital P lowercase C I capital R lowercase O O T equals 1 and you're just going to press enter again the reason we have the hyphen x is because we're going to go into safe mode and the text should just run through again it shouldn't take too long with this one and we'll, we'll be on 10.6 
Alright, so another screen should pop up now. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, so this screen should pop up. Um, just choose what country you're from and go along with that. I'm just going to pick any random stuff because this is just um, a video just to show you guys how to install. Alright, so you are going to need to put a password in, otherwise we can't really install anything. What you're going to do is just press random keys on your keyboard and it should pick up on the screen. Alright, so when that's done, just press done and put the password in and log in. Alright, from now, I mean from here, we're gonna, well I'll just show you guys the version we're on, 10.6. Um, yeah, so now what we're gonna do is install the combo update to 10.6.8. Um, Alright, so we're now what we're gonna do is, um, all the links below, the that you downloaded from should have the 10.6.8 combo update and I have mine on a USB so what you're now going to do is just put it onto a USB oh, oops, put your USB in the PC on here and it should pick up then click on it okay so um, some PCs can actually install the combo update just by itself. Um, when I do it on my PC, I get a kernel panic. So what I actually have to do is um, install the update helper. I'll have that. That's in the description below too. And you're just going to download that. I mean install it. And then just press continue. Put in the password. And press OK. Okay, so the installation was done. So what we're now going to do is restart your Hackintosh. <laughs> 